Okay, so here's my turtle tank. And as you can see at the front here, this is Trevor. Get him to come up out onto the basking area for me. Come on, mate. Hello guys, welcome to Alistair Aquatics. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, it's just gonna be a really quick one. I'm gonna be showing you how to hand feed and how to tame your pet aquatic turtle. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at my turtle tank. Okay, so here's my turtle tank. And as you can see at the front here, this is Trevor. Trevor is sat there currently patiently waiting for food. And as you can see, he's pretty well tamed. He knows when he sees me, it's time for food. Um, he knows I'm not gonna hurt him. Although he does have his skittish moments. So I'm sure you're watching this. Maybe you've just got your own pet turtle or maybe your pet turtle is a lot more shy than this. Um, and you're trying to sort of work out how you can tame your pet turtle um, and how you can hand feed him. So the first thing to do is just to make sure that you have an adequate setup. You've got to make sure you've got heat and UV, you've got a basking spot so the turtle can get out and get completely dry and you want an overall enriching environment. I think you want to have it sort of 50-50 open space to sort of crevices and hidey holes and you know ways for the turtle to get away and escape um, just yeah set up that's my sort of first first piece of advice make sure that it is a correct setup and you have enough hiding spaces you know for, in order for the turtle to feel at ease Trevor my turtle he is a three striped mud turtle he knows that if something spooks him you know occasionally someone walks past the tank especially someone that's not seen him before they might quickly walk up to the tank and sort of lean over the tank, that can spook him. And he quickly shoots behind this rock. He's got a few little areas back there and even at this front bit that he just likes to dig down and wedge himself down there so he feels safe. So yeah, that's my number one tip. Just make sure you've got um, enough sort of little spaces for them to hide as well as some open space. Number two, patience. That is my next tip. I think you're gonna need to have a good amount of patience. This guy is so funny. Um, you're gonna need to have patience. I mean, when I first got Trevor, he was like how I expected him to always be, if that makes sense. I just expected him to always be very shy. Um, you know, he would come out and about, but the second he saw any movement from me or my girlfriend, he'd run and hide away. And I kind of expected that to just be the norm. Um, but with a bit of patience, I would just sort of feed him and just sort of stand by the tank, just so that over time he associated me being there as not a threat, and actually if I'm there, it normally means food. Although this guy's maybe taking that message a little bit too far. He, uh, he uh, does see me and immediately think food to the point where now he just sort of follows my hand around. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just make sure you have patience with it. You know, it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. Um, maybe give yourself a month or two and just say, right, my plan is every day is to number one, not stress the turtle out and be patient with it. And maybe, you know, when you put some food in, just sit by the tank for 10 minutes whilst he eats and just stay very still, very quiet, maybe not too close to the tank. Just, you know, your turtle's a smart animal. It will know you're there. Um, and you know you want your turtle to get comfortable just sort of eating the food that you put in um, with you being around. I think that's kind of a logical next step. And again, this kind of go hands in hand with that second step. In terms of being patient, um, don't handle your turtle. Um, since I put Trevor in this tank, do you wanna know how many times I've held him? I think you might be shocked to know. Zero. I have never held Trevor apart from when I received him and placed him into this enclosure. So I've had him now for a quarter of a year and I haven't held him once. And that's okay. You know, you have to 
be sort of realistic when you get an animal like this it's not something you can pick up they're not going to enjoy being picked up they're not going to enjoy being stroked you know they are an animal that you can watch and enjoy and you know he is interactive as, as you've seen through the glass you know I, I don't want to go stressing him out last thing you want to do is during this process go in there and start digging around and grabbing them out um you know i think there is this there's this weird theory that you need to health check your turtle every every day or so um by all means health check your turtle if um you know on a sort of regular basis i don't know what the sort of ideal amount is i mean with trevor i honestly just take a good look at him and i can kind of work out his, his health aspects and actually i am upgrading his tank soon and i will in the process of moving him over just hold him check his shells all firm give him a quick look over uh, you want to keep an eye out for things like shell rot um, any fungus and things like that but yeah just avoid picking them up because that will stress them out it's just a very unnatural thing for them they'll honestly just view you as a predator and that'll kind of go against your um sort of goals i guess if you're watching this video you want your turtle to be tame you want to hand feed them and i guess that'll go against that so yeah avoid avoid handling your turtle as well that's another bit of advice so i know that when i um, upgrade trevor's enclosure he is gonna probably be shy for a few days actually i find after even doing a water change or moving some of these plants around because he does like to uproot them i find that maybe for a day or two he's a bit more sort of reclusive um, keeps himself to himself he's not doesn't fly around as he is at the moment um, and then after a couple of days he realized hey it's not that bad <laughs> those plants aren't exactly where i want them but uh, i'm going to enjoy myself when he comes out and swims about like you see here okay it's time to give trevor some food he's mainly fed on a mixture of different pellets just because these have a good amount of calcium and vitamin d3 just to help him keep strong healthy bones and also there's lots of protein and different sort of worms and things like that um, so let's see if he goes for it come on Trev oh there we go Trevor's eating that pellet, so I'll give him one more. See if I can get him to come up out onto the basking area for me. Come on, mate. There he goes. So he's off to find somewhere safe to eat that. <laughs> Thank you. 